The Speaker recognizes Representative Switalski. Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, my amendment to this bill would uh, uh, take 10% uh, of uh, this money uh, and divert it through the Act 51 formula. So 10% of this money would uh, go into the Comprehensive Trans uh, Transportation Fund, which would pay for uh, public transportation, essentially. Uh, all the money that we raise goes through a formula, and up to 10% of the money used goes towards transit. So it's not just the large uh, transportation uh, uh, operators like DDOT and SMART and others, but what really uh, relies on this funding is our, happening in rural areas with transit for, for senior citizens. With an aging population in Michigan and in many of our counties, this is really the only transportation that senior, uh, many seniors in our communities have. So, Mr. Speaker, with this bill and this entire package being what's representative of a, a potentially a third of the solution, at least a third of what, how the governor defines uh, the, the uh, annual solution to our road funding shortage, to leave that money, uh, uh, to set aside that money just for roads and not in, in all of our transportation options, I think is extremely short-sighted, Mr. Speaker. Um, many different people get around many different ways, and to just put this into uh, our, our, our roads without looking at oppor uh, opportunities for people uh, who are living in rural areas, for people who, who don't own cars uh, to get around, I think is uh, short-sighted, not to mention that Michigan has long been at a uh, competitive advantage for attracting young, talented people. And what we know for a fact is that uh, we need to invest in transportation policy as a broader uh, economic policy so that we are attracting young, talented college graduates for the future. Mr. Speaker, I urge adoption of this amendment. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Swatowski. The question is on the adoption of the amendment. The clerk will open the board. The amendment is not adopted.